Good cold, hello, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Theory video. And today, I will tell you everything you need to know about Burn Trap. And before I start, if you're new to my channel, I post every single Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. And please be sure to check out last video I made where I covered that Benny and Vanessa are not the same person. And also, don't forget to like and sub if you enjoy it. <laughs> and with that out of the way, let's start with who's Burn Trap and what is his history. Burntrap, also known as the quote-unquote villain of Five Nights at Freddy's, is called William Afton and started his killing career in FNAF 2 by killing one kid who then became the puppet, avenging the death of his youngest son that we know now as the crying child who died in 1983 by getting his frontal lobe bit off by Fredbear. Skip forward to FNAF 3 where William destroyed Freddy, Bonnie, Chica and Foxy but that didn't go as planned because all of the other five previous mentioned kids continued haunting William until he escaped into the spring bunny suit and quote unquote sadly died of a spring dog failure becoming Springtrap in the Fast by Frights horror attraction. But that didn't go smoothly either because the location got burned to the ground and after that we never heard of him ever again, until Five Nights at Freddy's 6 Pizzeria Simulator, in which he appeared as a more destroyed version, also known as Scrap Trap. Henry Emily, the father of Charlie, aka the puppet, had a plan to finally set William rest in HE double hockey sticks, and that is by salvaging him and then burning the place to the ground, like in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Michael Afton, the son of William, helped him and we got the good old connection terminated scene we all know and love if you played Five Nights at Freddy's 6 and got the completionist ending then you know what I mean and after that after he's quote unquote finally dead his soul or remnant is now in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted as you know him probably glitch trap who then took over Vanny's mind to control it into getting him out of the game. And I think she repaired him with the now lost Glamour Bunny. You can actually see Buntrap having the snout claws and one of the feet that the Glamour animatronics have. So I think she repaired him with that. And she also put him in a modified recharge station to power him up and put his remnant or soul in to Buntrap. And now that you're all caught up with who he is, let's continue with what actually happened to him. If you're not caught up with the fire ending yet, then I got you. If you know what happened, then skip ahead or not. It's your choice actually. Okay, so Gregory with Glamour Freddy find the old pizzeria sim location that is actually under the Mega Pizzaplex. Well, that's convenient. After entering, they are created with a big hole inside the pizzeria and of course they enter and then Freddy suddenly realizes something. Here is what he said. I know what this is. I have been here before. She brought me here. I found myself for the first time when I cleared the path. I did not want to, but I had no choice. Now I have a choice. I have changed. My friends are here. They are so angry, confused. But I can protect you. I am not me. So Freddy wasn't here before and I think Madpack actually had a good explanation, so you have to check out Madpack's channel for yourself. I actually put a little link in the top right screen, so go check that out. And inside of the hole we see Blob or Blobby or <laughs> Molten Freddy or the Amalgamation or whatever it is. You know what I mean if you played the game or watch my Let's Play. Please go do that if you didn't. And under the blob is another little location, which you can't really call a location, but it's like a little room with two halls leading to guess who? Burn Trap. And after Burn Trap exits his little recharge station, he tries to take control over Freddy because he obviously noticed that someone is in his location. <laughs> but since he's pretty weak, it takes a bit. And in good old FNAF fashion, Gregory tries 
burning him multiple times until we finally get this cutscene. Little fun fact, every third FNAF game, there's a fire. For example, FNAF 3, fire, FNAF 6, there's another fire. And now we have Five Nights at Freddy's 9, which, you guessed it, it has a fire. <laughs> and now we need to theorize what actually happened since Burntrap doesn't seem to die. He just gets taken away by Blobby. But we have to remember who are you talking about. It's William Afton. He always comes back. And what is with Vanny? And I think it would be lame if that were it, but I don't think so, because one thing to note is that Blobby attacks us with his tentacles, and we don't really know why. Does he attack everyone? Maybe he's protecting Burntrap from us by killing us? Or maybe he does just attack everyone? But I personally think that in the future DLC, that is already confirmed by Steel Wool, we will know more about what really happened, and which ending really is the canon ending? Well, it could be the VIP ending, where Vanny dies and Lambert Freddy dies and only Gregory and Vanessa are still left alive. And with that, you gotta remember that the theory part is just a theory. And don't get too heated up by it, it's just my opinion theory on what maybe happens. But without any hate comments please. And speaking about comments, Please tell me in the comments down below what you thought of the video and if you are with me on the theory side or if you have another theory, just write it out all in the comments down below. I will read every single comment like I did in the last episode. By the way, thank you to Awesome Brandy, I hope I pronounced your name right, for subscribing. Thank you very much. If you subscribe and tell me in the comments down below. I will mention you in the next video and by the way thank you so so much for the support on last video I really really appreciate that and with that said if you did enjoy it please be sure to like subscribe to see my furious and gameplay videos and tell me what you think in the comments down below okay that's it see you on Thursday goodbye